everybody it's tina here again how are you all it's so good to be back um this is really exciting um this paper is beautiful i've got another two entries to share with you and i just want to say that after these two i've got two more and unless anything comes through the post within the next hmm, five days is it um that's it. This will be the last few of the giveaway challenge. And I've absolutely loved doing this, but I'll round things up more in another video when I've opened up all of the um, entries. So this is number 41, and this has come from Karen Simone, and she lives in California, USA. And I think this has been with me for about a week because as you know, things slowed right down with my craft area and the redecoration of my bedroom. But I'm pleased to say my craft area is now all completely finished. Hallelujah, thank goodness for that, because it was getting right on my nerves. Um, not the sorting and stuff, but just, you know, not being able to craft for a whole month now it's been. And now I'm behind with my Christmas presents and my mini journal kits that I'm going to have up for sale, hopefully in a few weeks' time. But anyway, without further ado, let's open Karen's entry. And it's just so beautifully wrapped. And this paper, oh my gosh, it feels like fabric. It's so soft. It's absolutely amazing. And it's this beautiful aqua colour with gold. And look, she's made this beautiful bow and even cut the little end pieces like that um, out of this beautiful lace which uh, I think is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Karen. And let's open her entry. So, oh, she's created, she's actually, oh my, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're probably all fed up with me going, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. But honestly, everybody has sent the most beautiful entries. And I love this, Karen. She's made this as an envelope. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love this paper. Or did you thicken it with a couple layers? But it's it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. And thank you for the ribbon. And this is what we've got here. We've got a little package here. Now look at the way she's done this. This is beautiful aqua um, ribbon. Well, tool actually that she's tied into a ribbon. But uh, I am not going to ruin her bow because it's beautiful. And I love the way she's fanned out the sides I never do that and I really really should and here oh my goodness oh my goodness me there's earrings here look at these oh my goodness now there is a lovely long letter here I believe I could be wrong let's have a look I'll just open this up it could be paper oh no it is a beautiful letter right so She's sent me these earrings. Now, Karen, I don't know if you've made these or not, but I absolutely love them. And my ears are pierced. And uh, I don't know if you've sent them as a gift of earrings that you've made or that you've purchased until I read your letter. Or if you sent them for a journal, but my, I'm going to have to say I'm going to be wearing these. These are absolutely stunning. Wow. Can you see those beads? They're faceted, but they're like, they're gold and they're aqua. I just absolutely love them. And they're so wintry. I love them. And she's got on here, there's like a stamped image of a dandelion. Oh, I absolutely love it. And she's made this beautiful pocket that these were in out of some paper, some music paper. Oh my gosh, look at this. So let's um, open her letter and have a quick read. Um, there's quite a few pages here, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a read through this letter, and then I'll be straight back. Just one second. Okay, I'm back again. So I've read this fabulous, fabulous letter from Karen, and I'm not going to share all of it with you, because some of it I feel is quite personal and is not for me to share. But what I want to say from this amazing letter to you, Karen, is thank you so much for telling me so much wonderful information about you. Um, Karen has only recently joined the junk journaling community. She's been through um, quite a um, quite a difficult time, um, and uh, this was from April this year. 
and she started watching YouTube videos and found Tracy Fox and she says she actually laughed for the first time um, and through Tracy she fa she found Andrea of Artie Mays and me and then she says that from there she went down the rabbit hole wow I am I'm just thrilled Karen that you you feel that I you know have given you something because um I too um I will share this um I don't normally share a lot of personal things on here because I want this to be the most positive upbeat um place possible and I want to bless people that are watching my videos but what I will say is, um, for Karen as well, um, I went through a very, very difficult time where I got seriously quite ill and uh, completely had to give up my floristry little job that I had. It wasn't a job job as such. I, I tried to get back into um, something because I was a care worker um, for many, many years. I worked with um, people with physical and learning difficulties for 14 years. And I work with people who are um, elderly in the elderly community. And uh, also I worked with um, children and young adults with, who are, I don't want to label people, but um, are, have autism or, or are on the autistic spectrum and with challenging behaviour. And I became very seriously ill with a disease, um, which basically meant my, my, that my bowel exploded. And since then, I've ended up um, that I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Um, anyway, the long story short of it is I went back to college as soon as I recovered from that to try and train for something else. And I did floristry and I absolutely loved it. And for my work experience, I had to um, do some work in a shop. So I worked with my friend in her florist um, shop. But um, I only did it as and when and like helped out a bit at Christmas and whatever because I couldn't commit to a job because my illness just won't allow it. And anyway, she sold her business. Now, the lady that took over, two lovely ladies, two fantastic florists, they offered me a job, but I was unable to commit to it because what they wanted and what I could give them, it just wasn't going to work. So I had to walk away and it was then that like you, Karen, I started to watch YouTube because I spent six months in bed, very depressed. And I stumbled across Yvonne Preston. And, uh, well, the rest is history. I think I binged watch Yvonne's videos for about, I don't know, a month. And I could not believe what I was looking at, that I loved books. I loved books as a child. I loved... Um, stationery pens stickers anything like that and I would buy notebooks and writing pages and envelopes just because they were beautiful I never even wrote in half of it I just loved touching and looking through and I've always loved books um you know story books um non-fiction books because I just think books are amazing and I love the smell of old books. And I used to sit in the library or go to Waterstones shop and just sit there for hours reading through books. Anyway, enough of that. So basically what I'm trying to say is I got into junk journaling through Yvonne Preston, met Andrea Allen as a dear, dear friend and Janet Hicks through that as well. And Karen O'Reilly. And um, since doing this challenge giveaway, I feel that I've made... Oh my gosh, fantastic friendships with people that have sent in entries and with, through email or through talking on Instagram or Messenger and you're all so precious to me and thank you so much for making this such an amazing event. Um, but going back to what you're saying here, Karen, it, yeah, it took me getting to rock bottom and then I found junk journaling and I don't think and I don't believe for a minute it was an accident because I can do this when I'm feeling well and when I'm not feeling well, then I just rest. And uh, it's just therapy like none other. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those who don't want to hear my life's history. I'm, I'm not a woe is me person. I truly am not. I believe that you need to take each day as it comes and find the silver lining in every cloud. And junk journaling has been the biggest silver lining in a cloud that I had over me for quite some time. But anyway, getting back to the lovely Karen... So Karen goes on to say that she started a YouTube channel to mostly post videos about using journaling um, and also to help with the grief process. Um, it's just under her name, which is Karen Simone, 
Now, let me see. I think I can write, I'll write it down when I do her entry so you can check Karen out. But Karen, I am going to find your YouTube channel and I will subscribe and I will link your channel below. So um, she's also written here um, da, 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 uh, that she's still finding her way after these last few months. And this community is so fun and warm and friendly and uh, she feels like she fits in with her supply obsession. Well, I have to totally agree with you there, Karen. This, I've never met such kind, generous and wonderful people as I have through the junk journaling community. And I honestly can say that hand on heart. You know, um, it is completely amazing. And she says that she loves watching and learning from all the creative women out there in the world. Um, now, this is her take on a traveller's notebook cover. So this is what I think she's got in here. And she says that she... Now, let me let's just quickly read through here. She used to be into scrapbooking, working for... Is it Provo Craft or Pivio Craft? I can't... My glasses are not on my head so or on my eyes, so I can't quite make that out. But she says she, had to, she used to design things using only a certain amount of products. And she said that a lot of people hated these restrictions, but she actually found it quite, you know, interesting and challenging and she really enjoyed it. And um, she says here, if I just read this bit, um, uh, it makes you think more creativity, creatively, uh, creatively, I can't speak. Um, I had to, I had one large piece of something paper. I think it's stationary. Um, I can't pronounce the word um, but it's a type of paper onion skin paper some blank book pages aqua lace uh is that cream lace uh, some coffee dyed paper and a file folder and she wanted to see i wanted to see how many patterns i could make from the same paper um after you receive this i'll add my flip through with my process to my channel oh that would be fantastic if you could do that karen um bless her she says i've enjoyed getting to know you through your videos i think you're so sweet oh thank you bless you and i love your enthusiasm <laughs> oh, thank you it makes it fun and entertaining for videos thank you so much karen I, I, that's all i want i just want to entertain people lift them a bit and share some skills or some designers or whatever brilliant um okay uh and then she says that she hopes this package hasn't been disturbed i can assure you karen that there's been no disturbance of this package at all i've just snipped it open and it's perfect so that's fantastic she also says and this is um uh, regarding these fantastic beautiful earrings she says, um, in another life, I was a jewellery designer. I know you love blue. Aqua is my favourite colour. Aqua and um, teals and all turquoises are mine as well, Karen. So these are just perfect. Um, I hope you can use these. I am, but I'm going to wear them because they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at these. I know I've shown them before, but I, I haven't had a handmade pair of earrings for so long. That is just wonderful. So if we put that there, um, thank you so much for entering, Karen. I'm going to put your letter back in here with these earrings a moment and uh, put that on there because I don't want to mess that up. And let's have a look at your entry. So what she's got here, she's got a few layers here. She's got this lovely crinkled paper and she's wrapped this beautiful aqua. I'll tell you what, Karen, look at this. I'm making winter journals at the moment and I've got the most minuscule amount of aqua. That would have been perfect to go with it. But anyway, she sent me this beautiful aqua green um, doily and she's tied it with a bow and she's sewn a button on there. So I'm going to, is this elasticated? Yes, it is. So I can ease that off without wrecking her beautiful bow. I just love that tool. Thank you so much. And that is also a mother of pearl button, I might add. Thank you. And just look at this. It is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous. Thank you. And this paper, it, it's, it's lovely. It feels like soft and leathery. But uh, let's get into here. 
and open this. Oh, she's wrapped this so beautifully, hasn't she? Oh my giddy ants. Oh, Karen. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't want to dismiss these papers that she's wrapped this in because what a brilliant way to send some to people. But she sent this one is like lace and it's paper. Can you see that? And they're actual holes through that or, or they're not quite holes. Some of them are. And this is all handmade. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. It's just so, so beautiful. And then there's this one that's got like, like a, um, a it's t uh, twine going through it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then last but certainly not least, look at the little daisies on that. Karen, thank you so much. I, I'm wowed by your journal, um, your cover here that I'm going to look at, but... Thank you so much for these beautiful, beautiful pieces of paper. Now, if I'm going to turn it over like this, and let's look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm guessing this could be a wallpaper, or it's some kind of um, designer paper, but look how beautiful it is. And it's got gold in it. Do you know, this is so boho. It's beautiful. And I think she's made these, but it's like little lace flowers. And have you painted these, Karen? Because you've got, there's gold on the ends. I'm wondering if you've cut these out and then you've painted the roses, the leaves in and the green. I could be wrong, but that goes all the way to the back page. I'm just making sure you can see this. And... Again, she's tied a beautiful bow with some tool, which I can undo. I love this tool. And just look at that ruffle down this edge here that she's made with the tool. And, oh, wow, look at this. Do you know, this actually reminds me so much of Christmas as well. And I don't know why. It is just absolutely amazing. I'm going to make a journal with this. Definitely, Karen. Um, I might even make a December daily with it because, and she's got a journal in here. I'm just absolutely flabbergasted. What a wonderful idea. So she's made this tiny, weeny little tag. Um, it looks like coffee dyed tags. Yes, look, or tea dyed. And there's this tiniest little piece of tool at the top here. And she's fussy cut these out. And then there's another one. I'm going to stand up, actually. There's another one. And I'm wondering if you've used like a doily to coffee dye your backgrounds, Karen. And again, she's fussy cut out. My goodness me, the detail that she's had to fussy cut out for that is just amazing. And look at that tiny bit of tool there as well. And then in this pocket, she's made another tag. And this is made on some, like, can you see the shine on that? I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It might just be a little bit here, you can see. And she's just put a little bit of doily on there and some gold trim. Oh, my gosh, this is just beautiful. And then here, she's got this, um, like, aqua lace, uh, goopier, I can't say it, goopier, I don't know, lace. And then she's got another pocket here. And in this one, she's got a bigger tag and these are just beautiful. And again, she's she's cut out bits of the paper and she's layered all this up. And look at that. She's even put a tiny bit of gold tool on that one and the blue tool and this beautiful lace here. I'll turn that back over. And then she's made another journaling card with this beautiful paper. And she stuck a doily there a little doily inner there this feels like um watercolor paper actually or um oh, it is beautiful paper there's no doubt about it and then back here i mean just look at this tag i'm almost convinced that you've done this yourself yes look with a doily or something and that is a oh you know what those cards are and uh She's created a tag. She's done all this coffee dyeing. 
and she has literally cut out that whole design as you see it there um, with the scissors and glued that down and you know you can't see a spot of glue anywhere and then she's put this lace which I just love this gold lace in the top here it's just beautiful I absolutely love this and my gosh look at this tag now this is either I think it's been through an embosser because it's got like a dotted raised effect and I believe that she's decoupaged a napkin here she's got a piece of her paper collaged here and again a little bit of doily and this beautiful gold lace there and she's got pardon me please excuse me I've I just had lunch this beautiful aqua colored paper there on the back is just absolutely stunning and then look at this do you know this reminds me so much of when I went to India when I was in my 20s it's just beautiful I absolutely love it so is this wallpaper or is this from a designer kit but it's absolutely stunning and look she's got these little bits up here of the tool so that's in there and on the back here she's put some gold which is just wonderful so let's put all this back in Karen I absolutely absolutely love this to pieces I do it's oh my gosh it's such a blessing thank you so much I am absolutely thrilled with this I think that's how it all went I will glue that little bit down it's just come amiss probably through the travel that it's had to go through put that there uh, like that for a moment and then on this side she's got another amazing tag and you can see that she's used a, a doily of some type to stencil through with the coffee or the tea more I think it's more likely coffee and she's layered up little bits of doily and little flower appliques and there's a button there and again the beautiful tool on the back absolutely gorgeous and then this Le moi et moi something love isn't it she's made this little journal oh my gosh it's just adorable and look at the little bead dangle on that absolutely beautiful you've got pink there you've got aqua and there's like some a very I don't know it's like a champagne colour there as well and that's a red and it just matches all the colours she's picked out of this and again she's fussy cut this whole thing out to the very last detail and she's used some paper here for a bit of collaging but she's fussy cut all that out and she's sewn around beautifully and then that's the back and then inside she's lined it and I think you've mod podged this with some uh is that a German to English dictionary on that side and this is Webster so Webster's dictionary I'm aware of a Webster's dictionary in America and in here she's got some of this beautiful beautiful paper with the shimmer isn't it just oh beautiful it's, it's just beautiful thank you so much and that I guess is like a little bookmark that you could use I just think that's amazing absolutely beautiful and then we've got another tag here no this is an envelope I take it back I do apologize I love the way she's done this across the whole length of this um, envelope it's actually a coin envelope and she's layered up her tool and her bits of doily and a button there and it's just so pretty and it opens here and inside she's got a beautiful look at that shimmer journaling card there absolutely gorgeous and can you see it's it's I can't explain it there's just so much visual texture on that it's gorgeous I absolutely love this I truly truly do Karen absolutely amazing and so that's the pockets here but then this flips up and on the back again look at this beautiful patternage that she's done here with a doily and coffee and then she's put pages in the back and I won't not forgetting of course 
over here she's also embossed this and it's got gold going through it and there's quite a few pages there now this is definitely um asking me to put some pages in it and i am going to do that i am absolutely going to do that oh wow you've all done so much for me that i've got so much work to cut out <laughs> for the next so long karen this is absolutely beautiful and I love the way that dangles out the bottom there. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for such a beautiful, beautiful entry. The beautiful papers and not forgetting your lovely letter and those amazing earrings, which I have to say are my favourite earrings I've got to date. I truly love them. And uh, let's put you into Bunny. And honestly, thank you so much, Karen. So I'm just going to find... I was prepared, I cut up some bits of paper and now I'm not entirely sure what I've done with them because of all the excitement. Now I, oh here we are, look they're right under Bunny. Isn't that just the way? So if I write Karen's name, so it's Karen and it's S-M Simone S-I-M-O-N-I and Karen, you are number 41. And I'll put here California. California. USA. There she is, all written out. Please check out Karen's channel, everybody, on YouTube and subscribe and send her some love and some support. Because I know what it's like starting up a channel and uh, you really appreciate everybody that joins and uh, you are now going into Bunny, Karen. Wow. Absolutely amazing. This was going to be um, two entries, but I've actually made this one video today because I just think it's going to be long enough. But Karen, I just really, truly, again, want to thank you so much. I've lost my earrings. What have I done with my earrings? Here they are. <laughs> Thank you so much again, my friend, from the bottom of my heart for such a fabulous, beautiful entry. And I can feel the love and the time that went into that. So, guys, um, there will be another video where I will show you another parcel that has arrived that was going to go this one today. That'll be number 42. So until number 42, I'll just say a brief goodbye and see you soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.